760, baby! Woohoo! Pretty good, very nice. Hello. There we go. Marigold, that's a good marigold, man. Good morning everyone. If you have not already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, ring the little bell, you get notifications of my videos every Tuesday, Friday, sometimes we do the Sunday. Video. Remember when all the cows got out on the Dairy Tech show? They made a mess and you can tell why they didn't make a mess where there's bits of kit and the grass is actually clean. We're on a bit of an adventure. Let's do something different. So the farm shop has lots of beef. Well, the farm has lots of beef. We need to get rid of some beef. I don't know what the beef is weighing. Actually, sod it. Let's go over the road. And uh, I'll explain better. I would just like to confirm it's still wet. 30% chance it's still raining. You know, you know. Just better than one case maximum. Two case maximums. <laughs> Your boy. Hurrah! Drop this down a bit, push it in, it's easy. Can you tell the um, tyre on the little JCB has gone bust? Because we have the gates in the back, you can move that very nicely. Very nice. Pretty good, very nice. I keep taking most of it, I won't worry. Okay, so what are we doing? And that is a great question. The farm shop takes one beast a week. So two every two weeks. The home and dry barley mix has finished them a lot better. They're on about two and a half kilos um, a day. Dad says about two, four, five. Well, I can figure it out because we're nearly getting to the end. So I can figure out how many days it's been to the end, how much we got tipped. I can figure that out. Anywho, but today is we're getting too much beef. We've got calves that were meant to go to Brock. That didn't happen. I need to TB them because we're in a TB1 now. And if in over 42 days has to be TB'd to go to Brock, if you're in a TB4, I think it's okay. We've never had to do that before. So a bit of a curveball. We've got lots of beef going on. So I want to weigh them, see what they're doing anyway. We need to husk back some heifers over there and I'm going to write them down, see what the weight's on to. And then if we've got like surplus, I'm actually going to take them straight to Dunbar, so straight finished, and then wonder what money we can get for them. Uh, because that should be the most profitable way of doing this, keeping on the whole time if we do it in a profitable way so me and luke are going to smash him luke and i oh first cow 380 to 1. open that gate <laughs> i was just going to say that three, 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 one. Boring or exciting, but you are. So, speaking to my friend on Instagram, this is Amy Wilkinson. You know who you are. So, she says Angus's bet males have to be 650, female 600. We've got nothing there yet. The uh, highest we've got is 505, which is the Hereford payoff. It doesn't really matter how old they are, they want to be younger than 30 months. So two and a half years. The younger they are, the better it is. To a degree, because the quicker they can go. But we like a slow growing beef. But I think they should grade out pretty well. If you've seen Joe Seals before, he finishes cattle really, really fast. He feeds them with like a really high energy diet. So they finish off really quick. We aren't on that kind of diet. We're on a slow grazing, but just to finish them a little bit better, the change we did make for the farm shop for the better tasting beef is the plan. Seven sixty, baby! Woohoo! Seven hundred sixty kilos. Look at the size of this thing. So that is a one hundred percent ready to go. But we have got two beef that needs to go to the farm shop tomorrow. I've got the number. So what we can do is, 
I can actually get this to send it to my phone, but I don't really know how to do it. So, I don't have a scanner for the air tags, so I'm pretty sure I'd have to write the air tags down anyway, so I might as well do it with a hard copy. That sun keeps on shining, and it's got me feeling fine. Pusher. Here we go. Here is on the job. Okay, so that's done. First pen's done. Very interesting data. Everyone likes saying data. Um, but we'll look at that later. Next job is we're going to get all those guys chuck into here. And the plan is to filter them. You'll have seen this on TV in down here. You've seen as well, Dad, who scraped up for four, and Dad's just bedding up. I never, never, ever, ever bed up if you, before you do jobs like this. I, the reason I do that is because they're going to make a mess because they're going to stamp everywhere. So, bed them up after. It's Wednesday today, so it's bedding up day. The barrier system. Yeah, the only thing, Dad, me and Kieran go around them. Could you just, you just, you just stand where the wheels are, Dad? Yeah, we'll Because we're going to have to go one by one. It's going to be a bit of a pain in the arse. Trying to get somewhere where you can see. Like, it's just going to be quite cool. I love you like a bit carnage on YouTube. But very risky point. Hello. Again with the little ones. That is bedding up. Holy bog straw. The only thing about doing zero tillage or whatever, you do get a few stones in it. Sorry, bogs, mystery. My dad said, well, he's selling them by weight, isn't he? Stones weigh a lot. Seals. Who is Joe Seals? Me. It's fine, old one hasn't grown as well. That's today done. We've got enough. Beef has been done, they've been scraped off, but they could really do a better than to be And Luke's, uh, well, just, he's not back yet, and then it's two o'clock. So, yeah. We'll do them really quickly tomorrow. I want to show you our plan of attack. I have no idea why I clapped that, I'm so sorry. Right, we are back, baby. Uh, we're back to the pen three. It was good we finished yesterday's Valentine's Day. I got my wife a card. Today we're doing a little bit different. We've got a few beefers in here and we have a few dairy heifers in here. I'm pretty sure that is a beefer. 34.20 and it was 196.5. That was 196.5. Put that in context. That Harvey is 80 kilos lighter. Mad. Okay, so what are we doing? So I remember two years ago, was it? Three years ago? We had a mad, we had a mad, mad problem with this thing called lungwort. This, just get rid of it. We're gonna do this thing called husvac. You've got a husvac. Two months before turn now. Then a month before turn now. And then it gives them a chance to have the worm. It's a pain in the arse. Just hus fact and Angus. It's really annoying. So that means I've wasted £7.50. That's £7.50 one shot. 15 quid for a shot. Yep. Yeah. 
This is the problem with junk stock. They lick everything. I have no idea or not, but a lot of you last year must, might have seen us do this for the first time. And we're doing it with all the heifers, everything, like anything that hasn't been bulled or been in the herd at a certain amount of time. They hadn't built an immunity to it, so we had to do everything. And the ones that are like 24, 22 months old for hard work, this age, it's so much easier. He says, with a grass, so much easier. I think it's like what we're doing, yeah. So lungworm, this is a vaccination against lungworm. And lungworms, a worm in the lung. Not bad at all. So we started this at 10.41 and it is 10.31. So it took 50 minutes to weigh is quite easy. One, two, three, six, seven. To weigh 21 beefers and weigh some and uh, plus back 28. And that's 28 heifers at age range. It'll be interesting to see the age range. Won't be their bulling age. Um, because we just put picks them out the before. We might just ask for horse back then, yeah. But I don't think that's a bad run, is it? 50 minutes to do 49 cattle. Very happy with that procedure. So on this next bit of video, I actually thought I'd filmed it, but I hadn't. Um, the guys who pick up our beef for the farm shop had come and we loaded up. We saw the two loaded up. They were the big two. So we had one that was 760. 60 kilos and one that was 730 kilos around that kind of mark we loaded them up onto the trailer and then they've obviously gone and at the end of this as well you actually see the beef in the farm shop so on the hook and then the meat kind of thing so if anyone doesn't want to see that it's probably about three minutes to the end you don't have to see it but i thought it's quite interesting and it's interesting for us for the farm shop because obviously we rear our beef and sell it through the farm shop so you know people know what they're buying so that's what i was doing I explained it really really badly and you'll see we use some passports so we sent two beefers off the big ones they got picked up and they've gone and they've been sent back to the farm sorry and again if you see any more of this that doesn't really explain put it in the comment section below and if you want to see any more of the butchery put it in the comment section below because the guy is actually quite keen and will show us where different cuts are so i thought that'd be a good video let me know so we weighed him yesterday i think be interesting what do you reckon the kill out is on him as in what do you reckon they weigh on a hook, I'll explain it more later. Uh, so 3216 was 760 kilos, and 3225, 732 kilos. They're a bit heavy, really. You want them, well, supermarket run them 600 to 650. And the reason for why they want them not too big is because it, all it does is stretch out how big the face is of the steak. It's easy to explain on steaks. So if the sirloin is like this big, but everyone says, how thick do you want it? You want like this thick. No one wants the steak like wafer thin. So if it's like wafer th or normal thickness, but like 20% bigger, the price is gonna be 20% more. So it actually is a bit more, but it would be interesting. These have gone a bit too far. And the reason why like I explained we're doing this is have I got too much beef? Do I have all the numbers, finish it off? see what the daily live gain is and then actually to sell any excess straight to Dunbeer. Like a finishing unit, but not a professional one. Just the way we do it. Just any excess beef, because the most profitable way is obviously putting it through the farm shop. But uh, the second most is to cut out as many middle man as you can. Very fortunate we've got the buildings and we've got a bit of grass and we can do a bit. But we're gonna try it and I'm gonna see what the numbers do because I can work out. Sorry I'm being a bit of a rush, but I wanna get him going. Um, so see if we've got any excess. It won't be like people who do 10 and 12, it'll be like fours. So you can fit four on a trailer, send it off, see what it does. But it'll be interesting. I've got the weights what they were yesterday and what they come back on, on the hook, if that makes sense. Sorry for being a bit graphic, but that's where our food comes from. I'm not going to be a face to the back of
Bones. Bones as well. In here, we have, so it's about two and a half, three weeks later, we have the beef hung up. So this is where the beef gets hung up. Um, there are obviously the legs. The legs are gonna stay hung up for a little bit longer because that's got the fillet in, the sirloin in, the fillet, the sirloin, the rump, the butchers. So we have somebody contract the bones out for us. So they come in and they just bone it all out and then our butchers do the rest. It just takes a little bit of time off the team in the farm shop. So it gets hung in here in a, on a, obviously a cold storeroom. Um, that is the ribeye. So it's still a bit red at the moment. I think that's the T-bone from the last one. So yeah, you've got your ribeye beef. So one, two, three, four, five. So that's another front end. So that is, so what um, the boner was doing then, was doing the briskets, so that's the front of it. That's right, that, there's one brisket left here, isn't there? That's one, another one. We've got four briskets, obviously each side. So when the beef comes in, it comes in in sides, or actually comes in fours. So the back leg, the back left leg, the back right leg, the front left leg, the front right leg. So on the front shoulder and then it all gets sorted out into bits there's your t-bones obviously that'd be the end of the t-bone and the actual um that could be an older one actually so your t-bone's got your fillet steak on and your sirloin steak so everyone's t-bone steak so that is your shin of beef so uh i'll show you and then we'll go back to just let's have a look at a little, little bit because it's really interesting how they do it so what we've done is taken one of these out so that's your shin of beef and then it's just taken this bone out As you go. You can get dog bones at Pemberton's Farm Shop because it's our own beef every two weeks. Because they go really, really quiet. Quick, quack, quick. Oh, let's see. This is the cartoon bone, isn't it? You know, it's in every single cartoon. Yeah. There we go. Marabone, that's a good marabone, that. Marabone. So as you're just doing that, I'll just show you. So what we do is it, every time our beef comes back, it comes back with a ticket. So we've got Aberdeen Angus, it comes back with the tag number, the kill number, the cold weight, the hot weight, the date it was killed, and the category it was, and the grade. So this was an 03. An 03 is okay. We like an R2, don't we, normally? R2, R3, depending on. Yeah, so we're nearly, it was okay, but they were quite lanky and big things. The next ones will definitely be better. Uh, so the cold weight was, well, the hot weight was 209, and the cold weight was 204, and then the other side, the cold weight was 207. Put those together, that will make as cold weight 411, 411 times two, because beef cows kill out at about 50%. So that's actually saying that our live weight, so the cow walking, was 822 kilos. We know that wasn't right because we actually killed it two days after weighing, which was 760 kilos. So that means that our animals are actually killing out, or these ones, probably eight, the bones might be heavier because um, our bone was just chatting to us then. Our bone, the, the butcher was just chatting to us now then and we're just saying it's a big animal but the face isn't too big. We changed the barley thing probably two to two and a half months ago to the home and dry product. And we think it's really worked and what it's done, it's filled our animals out a lot better. It, it's working really, really well. So every week he was coming and going, these are getting better and better and better, which is amazing. So it's really, really good. Well, uh, the other beast, sorry, cold weight was 191195. Put those together, that makes 386. 386 times two equals seven. 72 so that would say that animal is 772 but again we don't we know the animal is 735 so again killed out well more meat to like guts and bones so they kill out at 50 percent because obviously you take the head off it bleeds out uh you got the heart the lungs and the liver and all that kind of all those stomach and everything so that's the other 50 percent that goes and then the other actually through an animal which i learned at university from its live weight, the weight you can actually sell is around 30% because that over 20% of the 50% of animal that we got back is gonna be your bones and your, your trim and stuff that gets cut off. So that's interesting, isn't it? So a cow walking, only 30% of that you can actually sell. I hope this isn't too boring for people and I hope it's interesting, but I find it really, really interesting, obviously, because we born on the farms, reared on the farms, sold on the farms, so it's really interesting for us to get better and better all the time. And what we're doing at the moment is really finishing stuff a lot better and keeping the guys in the farm shop happy keeping the customers happy. It's just working, which is amazing. 
So guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm gonna end it here. We're just finishing off. Um, if you like this kind of video, give your video a thumbs up, subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you want to see a whole side get broken down, even maybe get the fillet, the sirloin, and the ribeye, I'll speak to our boning man really, really nicely, and he might just show us. But put in the comments, we need at least 100 comments. He's giving me the eyes. <laughs> I'm sorry if some of you don't want to see it, but it's the way of the world, and it's the way that we create high quality, nutritious, natural protein. Love you all. See you, bye.